learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina because painkillers can be just plain killers. Touchdown Carolina! It's deflected and broken up! The Gamecocks win it! And they drop him in the backfield! What a year for Carolina football! What a homecoming gift! The Gamecocks down at halftime, roll back 18 points in the second half to beat the Vols and hold them late in the ball game, to beat them for the third year in a row. The final score, Carolina 27, Tennessee 24. Coach, no shock, it's a close one. That's all that happens in this series. But I know you got to be pleased with your football team. Talk a little bit about their guts, their fortitude to come back. Well, first of all, I want to thank our fan base. Started with Gamecock Walk. It was absolutely amazing. It's an electric atmosphere. It's going to help us in recruiting, but it certainly helps energize our players. But we want to get the game in the fourth quarter. In a game like this, the way the game was kind of going, and kind of told the team at halftime, let's get this thing in the fourth quarter and let's win it. And we're really good in one-score games. Our guys know how to win. Well, it's interesting, too. You have Jake Bentley make some plays under pressure where he gets the ball out instead of being knocked down. And then D.J. Wanham does the opposite to Garantano. D.J. in his first game back in five games gets a strip sack and does it. I know it's great to have those two guys play well. No doubt about it. I thought Jake really played well especially in the second half, made some really good decisions in the run game to, to take the ball on the perimeter. And, and his legs have really helped us in the run game since he's been here. And, and getting DJ back in a big sack strip there on, on the fourth down play was huge. Bentley, fewest attempts all year, but he played beautifully when he did put the ball up and run it. And the Gamecocks win it 27-24. Coach, on our Palmetto Health injury report, a lot of guys coming off the field, but most of them got back. How's the health of the football team? Well, I think we're good. Dennis Daly's had a little bit of an ankle. We'll see how, how he progresses through the week. Brian has, has had the same ankle. He should be fine. I think that's it. He came off after that 73-yard catch. I'm sure we'll look at that. We'll have that and more. Highlights, of course, from williams Price Stadium. A night game. Boy, the atmosphere was amazing. We'll do that when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Right now, get a 2018 F-150 with 0 for 72 or 11790 in total savings only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies. We protect them. Teaching and being in the classroom is just where my heart is. My hope for the future is that I can change at least one child's life. There's not a single profession that you make more of a difference in. Every child in South Carolina, somewhere in their K-12 experience, is taught by a graduate of the University of South Carolina. 
From the beginning, I was immersed in the classroom. They're designing the lesson plans, they're running assessments. I'm able to actually make a difference. I would not be able to say that I am the person I am today without the experiences that I had at Carolina. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back. SEC East win tonight over the Tennessee Volunteers. It's now time for our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. And coach, pretty simple what you talked to me about in the pregame show. You know, try to slow their run down, make plays late in the ball game. That's what you did. Well, we did. I mean, we wanted to slow their screen game down. They did a nice job. We didn't defend that well. We couldn't get off the field on third down, which was a tribute a lot to their screen game. They called a lot of that, whether it was receiver or running back screens on third down. And then offensively, we stayed on the field in the run game, and that was pleasing to see. Well, between homecoming crowd and that student base, boy, it was a great atmosphere when we kicked it off tonight around 739. Let's go out to Williams-Brice Stadium, our first half highlights. Again, we had a great crowd and we really appreciate that. This is just an inside zone play that Jake's reading the perimeter. It likes our numbers on the outside. Really nice block by Debo Samuel. Nice run by Brian Edwards. Here we are in a first and 10 situation. Does a nice job. Casey's finally got the cast off his hand so he can catch the ball again. So that's good. And then this is just an RPO that's, uh, you know, across the middle, which is dangerous. It's something that's been very effective for us, but it's a tip ball. And then they do a nice job right here of a design play uh, of leaking the tight end through the middle. Uh, we miss him in the coverage and they go up 7 nothing. Debo Samuel, we had a couple nice returns. We're almost right there. I mean, if he gets through the, 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 the arm tackle there, we got a chance. With this drive, we really established the line of scrimmage. I thought we really moved him well up front. Here's another inside zone, well blocked. And you see our, our running backs weren't getting touched till seven yards down the field. And if we're able to do that, we're going to be very successful. This is a nice little wrinkle Brian went to to give the defense just a little bit of a, a, another look with Debo getting the ball. Here we are again on the inside zone. Really nice cut by Rico. And again, right here, really good. You know, making guys miss down the field. And that's where you create explosive runs. We stall inside the five. I wanted to take the points to get on the board uh, to make it a three point, a four point game. Here we are right here slanting the defense to the top. And that's JJ Ambari, a freshman out of Hapeville Charter High School. Really nice play there. Four man rush and a nice job on third down. We play zone. They ran a man concept. Here they are in a situation where you see them pick right there but that's a legal pick they did a nice job what they had called against what we had defensively uh, was a good call on their part here we get back in our empty I thought our offensive line was protecting really well we wanted to spread them out get them in space and let our guys go to work and again this is right before half huge drive momentum taker to go into halftime to be able to drive the ball down the field critical third down conversion Jake on the scramble to Brian Edwards you know again we're, we got three timeouts right now so we're able to run the ball when it's above a minute we take two runs right here and Rico pops it outside really nice run by Rico gets the ball down inside the five yard line here we are we get into a quick bunch set Jake scrambles and again scramble pass their guy comes out of coverage Debo makes a fantastic catch in the back of the end zone. So we're going to go into half here at a, a 14 to 10 situation. Really nice drive by our offense. Debo Samuel, six touches, just 16 yards in the first half, but one of them that counted was the touchdown. And uh, coach, I know you're always looking at second half adjustments. When you went in at halftime, what did you think you needed to do down five? Felt like it was going to be a four-quarter game, and, and let's get the game in the fourth quarter. Our guys, you know, coaching-wise, we know how to put our guys in situations to be successful. I told our guys at halftime, this thing's going to go to the fourth quarter. we got to win the game then. That's just frustrating to only have those nine points. You've been averaging 6.4 yards a rush in that first half. Well, let's go back out to williams Bryce Stadium. The fan base, everybody waiting to see Carolina's comeback, which they usually do in the second half. Here, a nice design by Tennessee. You know, we don't do a good job with our eyes at the end and linebacker position. We set the edge of the defense. A uh, new little wrinkle that they put in, so you give them credit. Jake does a really nice job on the pull. He reads the, 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 the end chasing, pulls the ball, big time run right there. We come back with the inside run, and this is where our tempo took over. This is where tempo really helped us 
right here as far as being able to snap the ball quickly. They bust right here on, on the pressure, and Tyson wish he could have kept his feet right there and gotten the ball in the end zone, but we come down, and, and uh, Rico jumps over the top, breaks the plane of the goal line, gets the score. We got to do a good, better job on our field goal PAT. We got to break down there in the C gap. We, we got one block, but uh, coming back here, good pressure on the quarterback by Kobe Smith right here, flush at the quarterback, and a really nice play by J.C. Horn, freshman out of Atlanta. Uh, continues to play well for us. They go to a Wildcat set here. We get a negative play, which is a huge positive for us to be able to hold them to a field goal. Here they've got a wheel route running out the backside, and DJ Warnham comes up with a huge play. We get them knocked back on a personal foul penalty, and then RJ makes a really nice play on the counter. So they kick the field goal, but it's an, it's an eight-point game, knowing we've got to score a go for two to tie the ball game, and our guys understood the situation, and here we go. We set this up early in the game. Uh, Kiel Pollard's running the wheel route. He was open, but also uh, Jake chose to hit Brian. So the post was open and the wheel was open. Really nice job right there by Brian fighting, trying to get the ball in. That's where he kind of tweaked his ankle a little bit. And nice call by Brian McClendon. They were really jamming it up inside. We worked to the perimeter. Uh, we come back on the two-point play. The snag is open quickly. They close the window. Gutsy play by Jake Bentley. Gets the ball in the end zone. Takes a pretty good shot from their, their defensive lineman. And now we got to go make a stop defensively. Again, the screen game really hurt us, but a nice tackle by Jam right there. Here we get to a fourth and seven, and uh, uh, we get a uh, third and seven right there, what I think was a tip ball. Uh, we get this uh, stop right there on fourth and seven, and then we run, go back to the run game with Jake. Really nice job getting the first down, understanding down and distance. And then Mon Denson really ran well on this drive. We finally got him back healthy, uh, coming off the hamstring there. Another first down, another guy running through contact, which that's something we need to continue to see. They bring the corner pressure. Jake sees it, hots the ball to Josh Fan. And, man, I wish he could have made one guy miss right there to get us a first down. But Parker comes, comes in and gives us a three-point lead with 5.52 to go in the game. Here they hit us a screen, and Bryson does a fantastic job of feeling the tackle release. Here we go to a third and five. They play action. Uh, really nice pressure on the play there. We got to finish them in the pocket a little better. And then you know, DJ Warnham uh, comes up with a huge play. We go to a three man rush, fill up the windows, make them hold the ball. He wins in the rush, sack strip right there. They called him down. Uh, Javon, we need to get him to score there if he has that opportunity. But, we, but uh, just happy he got the ball. But they called him down right there. Doesn't like he has control of the ball, but so be it. Uh, but we get the ball in the perimeter here again with Rico. He's got a slide here. We've got to stay in bounds and keep the clock running. So now we stop the clock with 55 seconds. He has two timeouts. We still can end the game, but right there, the game's definitely over if he slides and makes it a little less cumbersome at the end. For seven straight years, this game has averaged a victory by 3.3 points. The craziest. It's the tightest series in the SEC in the last decade. The Gamecock come out on top. For the third straight year, they went in at williams Price Stadium. Those highlights, and they were great ones, brought to you by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. When we come back, our superlatives and more on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. We've all been there. Gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. We had a large storm and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. Oh, wow. Look at you. You got a ram. What made you do that? A lot of reasons. A comfort you wouldn't believe. Luxury everywhere you look. Not to mention 
legendary Hemi V8 power. Maybe I should switch. More people are switching to Ram trucks than ever before. And now get $1,000 bonus cash if you make the switch during Ram Power Days. And now get an average 11,578 in total values on the 2019 Ram 1500. Tonight, it is homecoming at the University of South Carolina, and we are welcoming you back with what you love, a night game at williams Price Stadium. As the 3-3 three and three Gamecocks are coming off an open date to take on an old rival from the SEC East. It's Carolina versus Tennessee. I'm interested to see when this ball kicks off, which team can have a consistent move the ball, move the line of scrimmage, first down after first down type game. That's who I think will control the tempo in the game. The ball's batted up. It's knocked around. Is it picked off by a defensive lineman? Oh my goodness. Garantano, three wide receiver set. Fake inside. Garantano going down the middle of the field. Got his tight end. And Parker White, our field goal kicker, kicks it up and good. Across the middle, he's got his man trailing and into the end zone. Caught, touchdown, Tennessee. Back to work, lost the throw, it's in some trouble. Looks left side, throws late, lobs it up for Debo. Did he get the foot down? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. Oh, my masterful one-handed catch. Run a half reverse inside the 10, the five, running into the end zone. Touchdown, Volunteers. Second down and short. Rico tries to go over the top. That was a touchdown. Tennessee says they got yeah, it. Yeah, that was. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Rico Dattle. Sinaglia kicks it up. Got it. Behind Bentley, Tennessee brings some extra pressure. Bentley with a pump fake. Wants to go down the field. He's got a man there. Edwards running. Caught at the 30. Bryant trying to run away. 20, 10. Five down to the two-yard line. A toss sweep left side. Tyson's got a blocker. Tyson walks into the end zone. Bentley out of the shotgun, rolling right side. Bentley going to try to run, cutting back. He's into the end zone. Jake Bentley took it himself. Very with the snap. Horton puts it down. It's up and clean. And it's good. They get just three out of the gun. Garantano got plenty of time. Now hit as he throws it. The ball's on the turf. Picked up by Kinlaw. Carolina wins it. A comeback victory, 27-24 over Tennessee. Welcome back to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. It's time now for our Ram Truck Film Room. Right here, we're in the high red zone. A really nice play action right here is trying to get four, four verticals from a two-by-two two set. Really set up well by the play action by Jake. Uh, and then the vertical ball. You see right here we got what we would call a split safety coverage. Both safeties are high on top. Uh, generally means there's going to be a linebacker carrying uh, a guy like Brian Edwards down the seam, but really well thrown ball right here by Jake. He's got to fit it in between both safeties and over the top of the linebacker. So that's a nice touch throw right here. Play action takes care of it and helping us beat the linebacker over the top. We got the matchup we want. Jake takes it to the right spot. So you see the play action. Again, all you got to do is throw that ball in there. I've been coaching defensive football my whole life. It doesn't take much. And these guys are like trained pigs. They're going to step up, up there and try and play the run a little bit. So that's a really well thrown ball. Nice job by Jake. Now it's time for the Quackenbush contract construction update on the Long Operations Center. It starts with the main front door of the facility, which is a lobby. It functions as a lobby but it's also an interactive museum. So fans can come in on game day, there's gonna be interactive tech, the Heisman Trophy, um, huge video board, and it's in a very dynamic two-story space. So I think um, this is a really architectural space with a lot going on that's very dramatic, plus the interactive tech. The weight room, undeniably, it's a very large volume, uh, very majestic, it's gonna have a full range of equipment, it's going to have great views of the field, great doors of the rest of Bing Pot Park. So it should be a dramatic space to be in, especially when the music is cranked up. It should be a great space to be in, um, both as a fan and certainly as a player and a recruit. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? 
The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies. We protect them. Teaching and being in the classroom is just where my heart is. My hope for the future is that I can change at least one child's life. There's not a single profession that you make more of a difference in. Every child in South Carolina, somewhere in their K-12 experience, is taught by a graduate of the University of South Carolina. From the beginning, I was immersed in the classroom. They're designing the lesson plans, they're running assessments. I'm able to actually make a difference. I would not be able to say that I am the person I am today without the experiences that I had at Carolina. All right, I'm here to unbox the powerful new Google Pixel 3, and I'm at Verizon, the network chosen by Google. Ooh, this is it. How's the camera? Oh, it's not just a camera. This has the power of Google Lens behind it. What's that do? Well, it lets you search what you see on America's most reliable network. So, I just found out who makes those special edition sneakers and where I can find them. Dude, there's nowhere you can find these. <laughs> I beg to differ. Now buy one Google Pixel 3 and get one on us. The phone you want, the unlimited plan you need, on the network you deserve. I would tell myself, just be where your feet are. Just work on you. And looking back, that one decision gave me the chance to rewrite my story. That moment I decided to go back to school. And now, I help protect some of the world's largest companies from cyber criminals. It still blows my mind. I found more than a job. I found a way to make a difference. Good hard work has earned Cody Beckmar the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the men's swimming and diving team, Beckmeyer is a senior exercise science major with a 3.756 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Here's Bentley, back to work, lost the throw, it's in some trouble. Looks left side, throws late. Lobs it up for Debo. Did he get the foot down? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. Behind Bentley, Tennessee brings some extra pressure. Bentley with a pump fake. Wants to go down the field. He's got a man there. Edwards running. Caught at the 30. Bryant trying to run away. 20, 10, 5, down to the two-yard line. Let's go deep. Let's bring it in. It was caught and run for 73 yards. First and goal for the Gamecocks. Those are our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see those plays? Two good ones we had to have. Debo Samuel, one-handed catch. He likes that south end zone back there in the back corner. Uh, incredible. And then, of course, Coach, the one that probably broke the game open in the third quarter when your team is down coming back and marching with that momentum, a 73-yard catch by Brian Edwards. Well, Debo's catch was a, was a hurry-up tempo. We wanted to get on the ball, try and get the ball out without them getting a line. They cover down and do a pretty good job, and Jake does a really nice job of just buying time in the pocket. They came out of coverage. He throws the ball to the back of the end zone. Debo makes a fantastic catch. And then Brian's situation was well designed by our offensive staff. We started the game with that motion. Uh, we ran it early in the third quarter again, and then we wanted to come back to it to start a series. Really nice job. Keel Pollard was open on the wheel route. Brian was open on the post. Jake made a nice throw. Great protection, too. He's able to hold on the ball, let Brian get down the field. Now our Terminex Pest player of the game, and Coach Rico Daddle, who said he looked angry when he was running, but he ran for a season-high 140, and like you said, breaking tackles and not just taking the loss. Well, I thought you know our entire backfield for the first time in a, in a league opponent consistently was making people miss and running through contact, and that's what we need to do. We get, you, know, you can't block them all. And I think our offensive line, for the most part in the run game, has done a nice job throughout the year. They've done a really good job in protection. So hopefully Rico stays pissed off. That'd be good. He had 140 yards in the ball game. That's his second best during his career at Carolina. He helped get the Gamecocks the win. We'll have much more to come on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp, but not before we hear from My Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call him. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater.
Ah, another truckload of Toyotas. What a sight. Yeah, during Toyota's national clearance event, we've got the last of the 2018s. <laughs> and super low APR financing. Maybe that's why they go so fast. Okay, that's gotta be a record. Right now, during the National Clearance Event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for just $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 bonus cash. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. During this year's Certified South Carolina Grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh, locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! We've all been there, gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got Pro Pilot Assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina, because painkillers can be just plain killers. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. And welcome back. Carolina goes to four and three on the season. Coach, a conference win is always great. But man, now we got that two-game road trip coming up, and we start in Oxford, and it's an early game. I don't know much about the Rebels this year. I know they've got some stuff that doesn't allow them to go to postseason, but I do know they have got some offense. They are really explosive offensively. Uh, the receiver position, the quarterback position, the, the running back they've got is a, is a really good back. They're, they're really good in the offensive line. They've struggled a little bit on defense, but uh, they're coming off a very difficult defeat to Auburn, and they've had an open week, a lot like Missouri before you played us. So there'll be some new wrinkles they'll give us. We'll have to make some adjustments during the game. It's 11 o'clock kick local time. Of course, it'll start noon here at williams Bryce Stadium. Or excuse me, it'll start noon here in South Carolina. Make sure you watch that. As well, make sure you watch Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Carolina's winners on homecoming. What could be any better? It was a great weekend, a great night game at Williams-Brice Stadium. We'll see you next time on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.